you're watching a live broadcast of the Melbourne International three-day event. Proudly brought to you by our telecast sponsor, Ariat. Okay, so we have another score update, um, which is for Lindsay Honey uh, and Bindaboo, and a good score of 49.4, which puts them uh, just ahead of Seamus into fifth place. So um, 49.4, yeah, just in behind Sonia Johnson, oh no, and just ahead of John Toomey, sorry, and John Toomey on 51.2, Adam Benson, Enthusiast, 52.1, um, and then Seamus on Wild Oats. So a good score for Bindaboo, sets him up well for tomorrow. Fifth place, 49.4. Okay, so the next uh, horse in is Flowervale Maserati, which is the riders Megan Jones. The horse is a 12-year-old, 16-1 black warm blood gelding by Metal and owned by Georgia Connolly. Uh, Megan, of course, a part of the silver medal winning Australian eventing team in Hong Kong in 2008. And actually, uh, Flavel Maserati uh, won, I think he won the um, Adelaide two-star last year with Will Enzinger. So... Um, I think this is a relatively new combination and I would imagine that Megan is going to be trying to qualify this horse for the WEG, which is going to, the World Equestrian Games, which is going to be held in um, Normandy in France next year. Nice balanced canter up the centre line. Ooh, just unfortunately stepped back a little bit into the halt, but... No hanging around, just get going. Lovely balanced and expressive medium trot and a transition back. A really experienced rider. I'm gonna try and show exactly what the judges want to see to get maximum mark from every movement. And again, clearly into the shoulder in. And over she goes in half pass. And again, showing really nice impulsion in the half pass. Horse has got good expression in the medium and the extended trot. And again, clearly on the diagonal. Oh, no, what a shame. This didn't quite establish the halt. Looks like he's really got the potential to swing along in that collected trot. Sometimes quite difficult to hold the the um, cadence in the uh, shoulder in and the half pass. Certainly, when you when you're playing around with the, the the cadence in the trot, it's not always the easiest to hold it in the lateral work. I'm sure Megan will develop that. The horse definitely looks like he's got the potential for really big expressive movement and everything. So again, clearly defined extended walk back to medium walk. Just a little bit of tension before he went into the canter. A 
Nice balanced canter. Matal is by Pharaoh, and Pharaoh actually was um, uh, part of the Dutch Olympic team at um, the Sydney Olympics. So uh, this horse is, um, I don't know what the, the mare line is, but definitely this horse is also bred for dressage. And a nice clean flying change over the center line. So um, definitely it, it helps when you have that extra power and softness from the, the warm blood. Again, really nice transition back from the extended can to where he sits and uh, really balanced. It's interesting seeing the little bit of tension there, seeing um, these eventing horses that have a little bit of uh, warm blood influence. I love the thoroughbreds, but certainly a little bit of warm blood sometimes helps with this with this power and with the expression. So long as they're fast enough, and again a neat flying change, maybe a little spook after it, but I don't think that that will affect things too much. Just a little running on up the center line and a little bit, little bit of a quick halt again, but I would imagine she'd be pretty pleased with that. Well, it looks like a really beautiful combination.